Walter. I'm the team lead for the IPS Signature Development Team. It is Tuesday, December 13th, and Patch Tuesday's here again. Uh, Microsoft is ending the year out with a bang. We've got 13 bulletins covering, well, more than 13 CVEs in this case. Uh, there's been a fair amount of chatter about uh, some expectations around this month, especially some vulnerabilities that were going to be fixed. Um, in particular, there were Dooku and Beast. Um, one of them is. So let's just jump right in. MS11-087, this is the vulnerability in Windows kernel mode drivers. This one's rated critical. Remote code execution is possible. Replaces two bulletins, MS11-077 and MS11-084. This is a true type font parsing vulnerability identified by CVE-2011-3402. This is the vulnerability that Dooku used. Obviously it's been publicly disclosed, so patch it. MS11-088. It's the vulnerability in Microsoft Office IME, uh, Chinese version. This one's uh, rated important. It's an elevation of privilege. Has been publicly disclosed. MS11-089, vulnerabilities in Microsoft Office. Also rated important. Could allow for remote code execution. This one's identified with CVE-2011-1983. MS11-090, this is the cumulative security update for ActiveX Kilbits. This one is rated critical and a couple of instances could allow for remote code execution. Replaces MS11-027. Uh, CVE 2011-3397 is the vulnerability fixed with this. This is the Microsoft Time vulnerability. Uh, there are some workarounds in the bulletin, so do check that out. There are a number of third-party kill bits also included, and these are the Dell IT Assistant, HP Easy Printer Care Software, HP Photo Creative, and Yahoo CD Player. So again, check the bulletin for all the class IDs. MS11-091, the vulnerabilities in Microsoft Publisher. This one's rated important, could allow for remote code execution. This one replaces MS10-103. There are four CVEs that are fixed in this one. Um, There's a kind of a common theme here, which is pretty much don't open Office files from untrusted sources and don't use Office files from untrusted sources in Publisher documents. Uh, now we'll get to MS11-092, the vulnerabilities in Windows Media. This is also a critical one, could allow for remote code execution. Someone's identified by CVE 2011-3401. The vulnerability is on how Windows Media Player or Media Center handle .dvr ms files. So all the victim would need to do is open a specially crafted dvr ms file or at least be enticed to open it. So be wary of opening files from untrusted sources. All right, next one, MS11-093, the vulnerability in Microsoft Windows OLE. This one is rated important, could allow for remote code execution. It's identified by CVE-2011-3400. All it would take would be the victim to open a file containing a crafted OLE object. Again, don't open files from untrusted sources, or at least, you know, be very wary of it. MS11-094, the vulnerability is in Microsoft PowerPoint. This one's rated important, could allow for remote code execution. Replaces three different bulletins. This is uh, MS11-036, MS11-022, and MS11-072. Microsoft Office 2008 for Mac is also included in this. There are two CVEs that are covered in here. That's CVE 2011-3396 and 3413. Again, be wary of opening files from untrusted sources or untrusted remote shares. Um, in this case, to PowerPoint 2010 that you're running it, it's, only, it's affected only if you don't have the latest service packs installed. All right, next one, MS11-095, the vulnerability in Active Directory. This one's rated important, could allow for remote code execution. This one replaces MS11-086, identified by CVE 2011-3406. And only systems running Active Directory, um, ADLDS or ADAM are affected. MS11-096, this is the vulnerability in Microsoft Excel. It's rated important. Could allow for remote code execution. This one's replacing MS11-072. This one includes Microsoft Office 2004 for Mac. The vulnerability identified in this one is CVE 2011-3403. Again, even more of the don't open or at least be wary of files from untrusted sources or untrusted remote shares. All right, MS11-097, the vulnerability in Windows Client Server Runtime Subsystem. It's uh, rated important, it's an elevation of privilege. This bulletin replaces MS11-010. Uh, the vulnerability, vulnerability identifier is CVE 2011-3408. 
And I'm going to chuck this into the local bin because the attacker actually needs to be able to log in locally or have valid login credentials in order to exploit this. All right, uh, another one, MS11-098, the vulnerability in Windows kernel. It's also rated important. It is also an elevation of privilege. Replaces three different previous bulletins, MS10-047, MS10-021, MS11-068. The vulnerability identified here is CVE 2011-2018. And again, local. The attacker needs to be able to log in locally or have valid login credentials to exploit this. And MS11-099, this is the cumul cumulative security update for IE. It is rate important. Um, it's an information disclosure vulnerability. This one does replace bulletin MS11-081. This one is actually across Internet Explorer 6, 7, 8, and 9. So all, all versions are affected. Uh, and it covers three different CVEs. Um, not even going to list those, but you can take a look at the bulletin. But uh, get that one out. And uh, you know what? That does it for this month. Uh, pretty full month. Get the patches out. Um, most particularly, get MS11-087. That's the uh, the Dooku vulnerability. Um, also, MS11-090. That's the Killbits. Um, and also, MS11-092. That's the Windows Media Player one. So, if you have to prioritize, get those three out first, and uh, then get the rest of them. All right. Um, hope you all had a good year, and we'll see you next year.